folks, here we are with what is the latest offering from Lexus. This is the NX350H. Now, the H standing for? Hell knows. No, hybrid. Hybrid, of Happy. course. Everything's hybrid these days. Absolutely. All Lexus. Drive, which is always nice. Absolutely. And it's very edgy in the design, Ryan, which I find quite interesting with Lexus. And I mean, Lexus generally oozes luxury. Yeah. When we think about Lexus, we always think of the luxury arm of Toyota. We think yes. of that association with the brand that is Toyota. And we think of the word luxury. You cannot not associate the word L for luxury with Lexus. And this is what you get from this model. All the bells and whistles inside, in actual fact, it's so high tech and so futuristic that you need a manual just to figure out opening up the door. It was a bit uh, tricky. Where, where the door buttons are, but once you get used to it, once you point it out to you and you can read the sign that says push to open, it kind of makes sense what you have to do to open the doors. Uh, but John, really it's a nice package and I love how Lexus have remained consistent in terms of their look and feel. Uh, there was a time when Lexus looked a lot like Toyota, yeah. uh, bar the badging. You have the, uh, their version of a Land Cruiser uh, that was in the marketplace that basically was just a swapping of the badge uh, from Toyota across to Lexus. But Lexus over the past couple of years we've seen coming to their own. They really are putting models into the marketplace that are edgy. Uh, I mean this one looks like the LFA. The look on the yeah. front of this vehicle uh, is reminiscent to me of the LFA which which is possibly the best, le best Lexus ever made, arguably. Yeah, no, for sure. Their styling, you can definitely notice Lexus on the road. They've got quite a, their own sort of styling and edge to the brand, which yeah. is quite nice. And yeah. it's just that element up from your normal Toyota brand. You know? Absolutely. So it's a little bit more classy. I suppose to take on the German manufacturers, you know, you have yeah. to compete with that. So you can see from the interior, it's just pure class and elegance, I would say, inside. If you don't know how the hybrid system works, it's pretty uh, simple. There's a battery that's a standard size within a vehicle, uh, and it's also a combustion engine. And they both, both work hand in hand to give you the best kind of a, a efficiency and economy. So this, I'm getting almost a thousand kilometers to this tank. Yeah, uh, so it swaps over between battery technology, assisted battery technology, full EV mode, and of course, uh, full combustion mode as well. Uh, so it really is a blend and a mix of all things that is the future and all things that is hybrid. So Lexus will definitely take those boxes off. Um, the one thing I wish Lexus would do though, uh, and it's a small thing, and I know it might uh, be, I might be the only person affected by it, but their wheel yeah. choices are always like, a smart suit. They're yeah. always bespoke and nicely positioned and very suave. I wish they'd just go a little Cra Daniel Craig funkish with us, you know what I mean? I, I mean, you know, you'd make a I good Bond, uh, John Williams, Thanks. but would Bond hop into a Lexus? Maybe, let's just bespoke yeah, maybe the new it bond, a bit. The bespoke. new future Bond of 10 years time would jump into it. But I think they play it a little bit safe, you know, yes. it's not too over the top, it's not too down below, so it's sure. in the middle of the road, which is which it, it ticks everybody's boxes. But from a styling point of view, I mean, it, it, from the front, I mean, they've got yeah. this quite a aggressive grill yes. that they've got running on the front here, which, I mean, you can tell that this is a Lexus if yeah. it's coming towards you. Um, Absolutely. You know, well, you don't want it to be coming towards you, ideally, John. I mean, no one sits looking at a car coming towards him going, there's a Lexus coming towards me. There's a Lexus coming. Well, you shouldn't be on the N1, moron. Or you shouldn't be driving like I often get. Ah. Driving 20Ks an hour in a 120 zone. Exactly. Then you will have a Lexus behind you. And it's quite Speaking of which, we were almost run over by a Toyota. See, that's what Toyota drivers will do. They'll try and ride you over because they see you in a Lexus. <laughs> um, John, I want to talk about the market to which this is positioned, right? It, it's a bit of a crossover vehicle. Yeah. It's an SUV-ish type vehicle uh, in that mid-category of vehicles. It's not their flagship in terms of the Lexus offerings, big SUV that they have out there. Uh, but it is something for the discerning buyer. And by that, I don't want the norm. I know what a million will buy me. I know what just over a million is going to buy me. I've seen the marketplace and I want something that stands out. I want something that says I have taste without having to uh, wear a, a Savile Row suit or have the designer Gucci sneakers. I wanted to say class and I've made a good choice. Something that looks like no other in the marketplace and something that also has uh, a great uh, history and pedigree. Look yeah. no further than this Lexus badge. Yeah, I think you're right, Brian. I think this ticks all the boxes in terms of, like we said, luxury, elegance, mm. safety. You know, Toyota and Lexus are all about safety. Hybrid, four-wheel drive, got plenty of space in the back, boot space is good. So it's, you know, I think it's for, it sort of ticks all the boxes in terms of that sense, you know. It's a good all-round vehicle for whatever you want to do, whether you're driving into town, whether you're driving on the country road, whether you're taking kids to school. Um, so yeah, so from that point of view, I think it's a, it's a good buy. I mean, Price-wise, what are we looking at, Ryan? Just over a million. So uh, it's competing with a lot of big hitters around that kind of money. And surely, yes, you will be able to find something that's going to be, uh, to a degree, a lot bigger uh, in terms of size for around that kind of money. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, you're going to be saying, well, what for a million or 1.1? 1 .1? I don't good. know. I like it. I love this Lexus. Well done. I love the looks. I love the edges. I love the sure. curves. Uh, there's one thing I'd change in this vehicle. Just one thing alone. One thing in this vehicle I would change. 
and that's the noise it makes when you get too close to somebody you know uh, the parking sensors are amazing but it sounds to me like I want to go burst into song every time I hear them going it sounds like a piano piece like a John Legend song listen to this listen to this this is a John Legend song a John Legend piano song see now listen to this how many times do I try to tell you you want a sorry and then and uh, Lexus, thank you very much for allowing us to drive this vehicle for a bit. Love the fuel economy. It's one of the few press cars we hand back with more petrol than what we started with. This is a great car. Uh, like, subscribe, join John and I. John and I will be back with more great videos uh, in the car stable. Uh, and like I said, John, if I had a million point or 1.1 to spend, would I buy this Lexus? Well, I'll tell you what, it'd give all the others at that price point a good run for their money. Wow. <laughs>